Moving over to the receiver now on the DNT Contact 40 1986 PR27 GB, which is the European CEPT band, 40 channel radio. It's got the slider controls for the volume and the squelch are very finicky. We're on channel 20 as you can see. I've got the signal generator on. We'll just pop the volume up. The set is working and I'll now go through those receiver adjustments with you. Okay, it's already working very well indeed. The fault, if we remember from a previous video, was actually the aerial socket. We've gone through the transmitter, now we move on to the receiver. And the first coil to adjust for the receiver is T1. T1 is there at the back. So we're just going to move with that one. I'm looking at a synad meter, I'm looking at an oscilloscope. T2, next one along. T3, next one along. T4, next one along. T5. And then finally the detector, and this is the one which I always say gets overlooked so easily. Just adjust, I'm just adjusting the oscilloscope, and we'll just switch the other camera on so you can see that. Just pop the that down, centralise it. This is the detector, and the detector is T6. T6 is just there. It's an MC3359 um, FMIF chip just there under the wiring. That is the detector coil and we're going to adjust that for for maximum audio. And we have actually gained some just there. So these often get overlooked because this is the only way to set them and that's with the signal generator. There can be no guessing games. Put that camera back off. Now we'll do a sensitivity check. And that's 0.3 of a microvolt. That's working very well indeed. The next thing we'll do is to check the S meter. So I'm going to put a 100 microvolt signal on the radio. There's the S meter and it's reading plus 9. I'm just going to make sure it's just hovering on the plus 9 and not solid across. Now the S meter adjustment on this radio, the receive meter is RV1 which is there. RV1. Just point it out with the yellow tool which is that one. RV1. I'm just going to adjust that. Yeah, I've just got the S9 lit up. So if I take that down a fraction we've gone to S7 that's absolutely how we want it. That's great. The next thing to do is to check the squelch. I've said before, you can get to the situation where you can squelch out even the biggest signal, and that's not what you want. So we'll just set these. I think we could do with a bit more strength on the squelch. It's the opposite way. It's a bit wishy-washy. It's RV5 on these radios. RV5 is there. See if we can strengthen that up a bit. Yes, that's worked. Turn the signal generator off. Set squelch threshold. Check it still tracks properly. And that's too strong now. So we'll just back that off. Set threshold again.
yeah that's working beautifully so that's set the squelch as I say that was RV5 which is just there well that's covered everything I seem to think yes so we'll put the radio back together I'll put that screen plate back on and then we'll do the next video as an on air, air test so just to recap on the receiver is transformer 1 transformer 2 transformer 3 transformer 4 transformer 5 for maximum sensitivity and then we move onto the detector for maximum uh, for a big signal on your signal generator maximum waveform maximum audio output is T6 the squelch adjustment is RV5 and the receiver meter adjustment which we've just set for S9 as a 100 microvolt is that one which is RV1 so I'll see you on the next video which will be on the air, we'll put it on the workshop aerial not that we're likely to get anything on CPG channels out here in this rural wilderness <laughs>